So I wanted to do a video today a little different than what I normally do um, with guns, of course, 22. Um, tomorrow I have a match at Beechburg, Ontario. Uh, it's, a, it's a monthly match. They have five or six of them a year. I'm not exactly sure. They have one a month. Tomorrow is usually on a Sunday. Tomorrow is that day. Um, we shoot 25 shots at 50 yards on a target. I will show you that in a minute. And we shoot 25 shots at 100 yards. Um, the way they do it there is because 50 yards, it's such, it's so competitive. They split that shooting into two groups. You shoot two at a 50 yard target and then they change the targets and then you shoot three just because there's quite uh, common that you would get holes and holes and you would lose track of what, how many shots are on that paper basically. So they do two and then they do three. And then at a hundred yards, we do five at each target, five targets for 25 shots. So today is my practice day. Um, I've got the target set up at 100, which is a one inch target. I will show you that target. This isn't the exact piece of paper, but this is the dimensions of what we use. It's the IBI 200 yard center fire target. The center 10 ring is one inch from the outside of that ring to the outside of that ring is one inch. Um, I'll put this down and then we've got, this is 100 yards, which you do, this is your cider. So you do five, 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 five for 25 shots. So the inner, this ring scores 10 and then that dot in the center is a X for bullseye. X's are not, are 10 points, but they're used for tiebreakers. Uh, and then this here is a, the, the targets that they use are just like these, but the paper's white and the, these, the red part is black. So just to avoid any, any confusion. Then this is the 50 yard target the center is 10 as well and that center dot is an x if you break that center dot you get an x and then in anywhere if you touch if you break that line that's a 10. this is a half inch uh circle so what i do on a saturday is i'll come out and i'll do some practicing um but today we're dealing with 10 mile an hour winds with gusts of like 15 mile an hour so here let me show you the target so basically we are half an inch on that ring. This is the 50 yard target. And close enough. That's a one inch ring for the 100 yard target. So basically the scores at this, they usually get about 20 to 25 shooters every month. The scoring on this, if you want to win, you got to get a 496, 493 in the, in the mid 490s. The, I think the highest ever achieved at a match uh, in the history of this club, I think is a 499. I'll, I'll talk to people tomorrow and clarify that. I know a guy got 498 last month. Um, so it's quite, quite competitive um you have to bring your best on the 50 yard i i can get perfect i can get all tens so i've got i've done this many times last month let's use that as an example last month i got five 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 all 10 scores so that's 250 points on the 50 yard portion of the competition that's as good as you can get and if you don't use not too many people win if they get a nine uh, sometimes you can, uh, but then you got to do real good in the, in the hundred, hundred yards. The hundred yard is where everyone falls apart. Okay. I should clarify where I fall apart. Um, hundred yards. I'm usually dropping between seven and 10 where I get nines out of 25. So that's where I got to improve on what I do in it. That's when you got to start reading the wind. Um, you also have to use the best, uh, you have to use a good gun. You have to use good ammo. You, you're not going to come close with if you bring CCI. You're not going to win. The majority of the guys there, I will talk to a few of them if they want to talk to me on, on camera. The more majority that I see when I go, they're all running Midas Plus, Lapua. Uh, some are using uh, Exact. Some are using Center X. But no one's using CCI. No one's using, you know, the, the budget stuff. So if you want, if you're serious about this game, stop stop you have to spend the money so and I, i'm not saying you can't shoot well with with cheap ammo at this level you're not going to win ammo does make a difference so 
you may notice on my channel, I only use Lapua. And it's because why would I want to, like, I, I guess I get it. You want to see what, how good certain ammo is because you don't have, you don't want to be spending that kind of money. It's just a matter of preference. Like, you want to drag race, you want to do a 15 second quarter mile. That's great. You're having fun. But you want to go in the nines, you, you got to spend the money. Anyways, I hope I don't come up, come across like a dick when I say those things. But it, it's just a fact. You, 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 you can't. You can't run budget ammo in these in these competitions. Sure, you can, but you ain't gonna win. It just you ain't. All right. Anyways, let's let's go. I've got the hundred yard target set up at a hundred yards because I want to whatever gun I bring. I've got this one out. This is the CZ with the IBI barrel. I've got this one here. I'm probably not going to use it, but I'm going to bring it. Um, I'm going to dial these in at a hundred, and then I'm going to put them dial them in at fifty because that's the first segment of the competition we start tomorrow we start at 50 so i want to make sure my scope is ready to go at 50 when i show up i don't want to be chasing my scope trying to dial it in last month i came with my everything set at 100 and it was like oh what what, a, what an idiot anyways so yeah you're you're using your uh, sight in period to dial up your scope and get it where you want it so today's adventure was to see how it's doing but like i said the wind is 10 miles an hour gusts of 15. tomorrow it's going to be three to five mile an hour so we're not going to be dealing with this much wind so i don't know how much i'm going to be able to find out today but anyways let me get going to some testing and um, get prepared for tomorrow i'm not filming uh, all my shots here but you can see that stupid flag down there just going crazy it's toward coming toward me this one here is blowing from left to right the one down there was blowing from right to left so uh, not ideal conditions for this testing, but uh, anyways, yeah, stay tuned for results. So basically similar wind conditions. I started out uh, sighting in the uh, super long range 32 lot number, 32558, I think it is. Uh, there's more than five there, but then I moved up with five shots there. So you can see that one's just outside the 10 ring. So there's four uh, good hits. This one here, nice tight circle. Like I said, we're dealing with crazy wind. Uh, so that is the Lapua Super Long Range. Then I switched over to Midas Plus 25 lot number. Did a good group here, except for that. This is more spread out. Same conditions as there. This one's more spread out as well. So 25, 5, 8 Midas Plus, not that great today. Then we switched over to 26, 5, 5, 8 Midas Plus. And this one here is not that great. This one here is a little bit better. This one here is not that great. So 326.555s, and then we switched over to Lapua. Uh, exact, 27.558. And it, tighter group. This one's kind of spread out everywhere. This one's tight, but not where I wanted it, but probably because the speed is different. Um, if I were to go back and then I figured, okay, it seemed to me that the Lapua Super Long Range 32 was the best as far as scores go. So I shot another five here. Um, there is five here somewhere. I, I don't know where the fifth one went. If there's a say, there may be two hits right there. So uh, that one was off a bit. And then I shot another group of five here. That was off a bit. So you got to kind of make a call at this point on which one averaged the best i think the super, super long range each group is tight whereas the other ones like this is the midas plus midas plus this is the midas plus 26 midas plus 26 exact 27 exact 27 exact 27 i think the best of all these was the uh super long range so that was with the cz 457 with the ibi barrel let's go get the big boy out so that series of uh testing was done with this rifle you've seen it on the channel before with my uh joy pod ibi barrel cz 457 mt mdt xrs chassis uh bolt shim timony trigger that and the uh vortex 24 24 power uh scope Anyway, so that was that uh, series of tests going on. Let's get the Desert Precision out and see what it can do today. All right, so we're set up with the Desert Precision bench rest gun. Uh, you all know this gun from the channel. We got the Citron 50 power, so a little bit easier to see. Uh, then we're down here at 100, that first, first target board. 
Still got crazy wind, as you can see. We're gonna do the same four batches of ammo. We're gonna do the uh, Midas Plus 25, Midas Plus 26, exact 27, and the super long range, which that number is. 32. Okay, we're going to do three groups of each and uh, I'll show you the results in a minute. You don't have to sit through all that firing and stuff. On these targets, I started with the super long range uh, 32 uh, lot number. Got that, got that, and then got that, which was crazy. That's probably the, a really good group at 100. So super long range 32 lot number. Then we went to uh, minus plus 25 558. Five, that looks like decent decent again like i said stupid windy but yeah we went to the 26 lapua 558 decent again uh tight groups then we went to the exact 27 558 that's a terrible group for that that that's not that great and then this one here crazy enough tightened up the second best group was the Midas, was the exact, and that was the best group, which was the uh, super long range. So basically, this was this is done my testing at 100. What it's telling me is that I need to bring the super long range, the 25, and the 27 exact. 26, I have almost a full brick in my safe, and I kind of know why, because it never shoots as good as the 25. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'm going to bring the three for the 100 now let's try some 50. all right so now i've got the target set up at 50 yards this is the target that you will be shooting uh, your first round of the match tomorrow and it is also the range that you will be shooting at 50 yards to find out for your sighting i'm sighting in both these guns at 50 yards so i'm not wasting any time trying to find the the zero for them i'm going to show up with the, the scope set for 50. i'm going to have 11 minutes for sight in which i'm going to try all four flavors of ammo pretty much what i've seen so far today is the 2558 minus plus and the super long range in the number 32558 have been the best performers i will show you a ballistics of that one group which was a 0.3 at 100 which is crazy um and then the uh, super long range, the exact did a 0. 0.5 at 100 as well. So I think it was 0. 0.5. Anyways, I'll show it up right now. Um, so I'm going to bring the 27, the 25, and the 32, uh, three flavors of, of ammo with me tomorrow. And then, so right now I'm going to be sighting in both rifles for 50. And I'll get you those results in a minute. So the Desert Precision Gun is shooting better than the CZ with the Lapua Long Range uh, 32.558. So we'll go right now and look at the target there. Okay, so the first three here are the uh, Super Long Range. Uh, that was, I had to bring the scope up a bit. Got it there and then got it there. And then this is the 25 Midas Plus. That's a good group. Uh, these are all three shots, by the way. And then over here is the 26 Midas Plus. Again, not as good. And then finally the 27 Exact. Again, not as, I guess, yeah, it's about the same. So basically what this tells you is that you're gonna be bringing uh, all your ammo tomorrow and you're gonna fire off a few and then make a judgment call. But I already know the 27 performs well and the 20 uh, and the uh, super long range, the exact and the super long range, and I'm gonna bring the 25. I'm not gonna bring 26, won't even try it. So just the three. Just for shits and giggles, I, when I was done, I shot that group of five. All these are three, that one is five. That is the uh, super long range. Um, so yeah, it's quite, uh, quite good. All right, so uh, the Desert Precision Gun is the one, and uh, we are dialed in at 50 yards, ready for tomorrow.